Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Bridges coming to you tonight, hyping everybody up for the big Anthony Pettis uh, going up against Rafael De Dos Anjos fight. UFC 185, everybody is looking at this card as a very, very uh, good card. Uh, you, when you look at the UFC show, top to bottom, if you're going to pay for this show on pay-per-view, you get your dollar's worth. you got very good quality fights uh, from the top to the bottom. You're going to get a great lightweight championship as your main event shot. Um, Anthony Pettis, of course, coming into UFC 185 as your lightweight champion. Uh, Pettis at 28 years old. Um, this guy's been training since the age of 19 back in the days. He used to train in Milwaukee where basically he used to get his ass kicked on a daily basis. And he used to love it. Um, and, you know, the poundings that he used to take back in the gym, back in Milwaukee, uh, turned him into being one of the best pound-for-pound -pound, uh, fighter um, in, you know, in, in the UFC for what he does. Um, Pettis um, loves what he does. You can always see this guy smiling in in, in the camps and in the uh, you know press conferences on his way to the ring. This guy, you know, he he loves you know fighting. He loves UFC. Um, you know, he, he's made this his goal uh, to take over the lightweight division, and uh, th that is exactly what he's done. Um, Pat, I'm sorry, Pettis won. Uh, the, uh, uh, the the title against Benson Henderson at UFC 164 by submission. After that, Anthony Pettis had to go and uh, rehab his uh, knee. Um, he had a knee injury that he had to go in and get fixed. But uh, this is going to be a tough fight for him. Dos Anjos is a very, very dangerous fighter. Uh, Dos Anjos... Um, <coughs> Um, you know, back in the day, you know, coming from Rio de Janeiro, had to pick uh, which career and which uh, life path he was going to take back in the day. He had to pick, you know, basically, of, you know, moving to the United States and training to become a great UFC fighter or if he was just going to stay and just be, you know, basically a normal guy. Uh, Desanius is coming into this fight at age 30. Uh, inside of the UFC, uh, Desanius has a record of 12 and 5. Uh, he's coming in uh, with a, a three win streak. Um, over his last three fights, um, he has a, a KO over uh, Benson Henderson, and as well, he had a decision over Nick Diaz. Um, you know, he had he had three fights all in 2015, all that he was proving that he was a you know a big draw and uh, that he was an exciting fighter uh, that a lot of people like to watch. Uh, he's still haunted by a loss that came to him in 2014 by a Russian fighter. Uh, he lost this fight uh, by unanimous decision, and uh, the Russian's fighter uh, name uh, I just honestly can't pronounce, and I don't even want to try to butcher it. Uh, he came into that fight uh, giving up an weight advantage. Uh, the Russian fighter was able to use use that weight advantage uh, to basically pin Dos Anjos to the cage or pin him to the ground uh, throughout most of the fight. Um, the, this loss has basically haunted Dos Anjos and he's trying to get a shot at uh, basically, you know, getting a chance to fight against this fighter again. He knows that he needs to get the win at UFC 185 and that's basically one way that he'd be guaranteed to get um, a shot at this Russian fighter one more time. Um, you know, he really wants to get that loss off his record, and uh, he he wants to erase it. He had a great 2015, but the guy is still um, <coughs> thinking about the loss that came, um, you know, over a year ago. Um, Pettis, uh, you know, is going to go into this fight. You know, he's a very, very you know, good fighter. He's a very creative, and he's very unpredictable. Um, you know, he's won his, his last three fights. Um, with just um, one kick, he's won two of the last fights by submission. Uh, this is a guy that can uh, can knock you out at any time. Uh, you know, watch when you watch this fight. Watch for the spinning back kick. Could come at any time, and uh, it is one of the coolest moves that that comes inside a UFC. The guy's got to be standing there, wondering what the hell's coming at him, and next thing you know, he's got the kick right upside his head, and the guy's going down. Um, it's gonna be a real good fight. Like I said, the whole UFC 185 is uh, stacked. Top to bottom, uh, you know, um, um, basically in my mind, I think that um, uh, Pettis is going to take, uh, you know, the pace of the fight. And um, you know, when he does, uh, it, it's going to be over. If Tisanios is able to control the fight with this kick game, he has a definitely uh, a good chance. Of, uh, of winning the fights, you know, he dominated uh, Nick Diaz with, uh, you know, kicks to the legs during that fight, but honestly, in my opinion, I think Anthony Pettis is too strong of a fighter in UFC, and he is the guy that I think is going to be taking this at UFC 185. You guys let me know what you guys think, because this is going to be a good fight tomorrow. Put your money on the table, because this is going to be one worth the money.